Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to be covering how you can recreate an image just like this one, all right? So I'm going to do it a little bit more about step by step. So for this image, what we actually need is really simple. We need the original photo, all right? And then we need to remove the background so we have something like that, okay? So for that, you can use Photoshop or you can use remove.pg and then you download the photo, right? That's it, real simple. Now, for the next thing, we actually want to add the background. And how can we create the background? It's real simple. All we need is an image, then a gradient, and then a, a mask shape. Okay? So, how can we do that? The first thing is we place the image um, on the background behind the shape. Okay? And now we select both items and make clipping mask. So there we go. You got the image, you can adjust it if you want to make it look good, okay? That's it, that's perfect. Now what we want to add is we want to add the gradient, which I chose two very light colors for the purple, right? And then more like a bluish purple, right? And then what you want to add is you want to add this inside the layer masks. So we are, we are going to cut, and now we are going to paste right here with control V, okay? Now this, have in mind that it has 95% opacity. If we have 100%, it would not work. Add something around 95%. So you have this thing. Now, the cool part about this is that now we have the background. So we are going to add the background right there, okay? In the artboard. Cool, so what do we need after that? So we need the girl, right? The photo of the girl. We need these two branding elements and the text. So let's exactly do that. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste the image here. And then in this part here, we want to snip it there. Okay, awesome, we got it. Now the next thing is we want to add those branding details. So how to, do you create these branding details? It's actually really easy. You create two squares and on those two squares, the only thing you do is you make it a little bit bigger, the radius. Let's add like 60 pixels of radius, right? Now, after that, you want to change the, the, um, the gradients. So let's go ahead to the gradient menu, open it, change to a pink, okay? And then, I mean, I can even leave it as it is right now or change the other color to white, okay? There you go. Now, this is a, a, a reddish pink. Make it something like this or something like that, okay? Now we can adjust the, the, the gradient as you want, doesn't matter right now. And then we do the same for this one. So let's add like an orange and then this one is like a white, okay? So let's make it like it is right now. Let's make it side by side. And as you can see, this one is a little bit bigger than the other one. So I'm gonna make it shorter, there we go. And now I'm going to paste it this one here, which is a little bit shorter again. And I'm gonna paste it this here, which is a little bit shorter as well. And there you go, you have it there, all right? Now, as you can see, this one is more rich, more detailed than this one. And the main reason why is because of the shadows. So let's start by do, add the, adding the shadows. We select the elements, go to effect, stylize and drop shadow. Now here, as you can see, the shadows are not perfect. So we want to actually make the blur like 20% or 25 pixels or 20 pixels in this case. Okay, we want to add a little bit more of offset and a little bit more of uh, Y offset, okay? That's it. And now for the blur uh, opacity, let's add like 25%. And let's hit okay. Now that looks, that's looking better, right? Awesome. Now the next thing is we want to remove, you want to add the same effect in uh, here. Drop shadow, and there you go. Now here we don't need to adjust as it is right now and it looks great, so let's move it to the next step. The next step is to add the shadow in the girl right here. So if you use the drop shadow, now this is way too much, right? So we want to add 100% just to check the, um, just to check how the, 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 the shadow is behaving. So I'll add something like this, and now right now I'll make it like 15%, or maybe 20%, 20 is too much, so I mean 80%, 
now the blur 15 is okay so i'm gonna hit okay now the image is pretty much built right there's a, a little bit of an excess here for the shadow because of the shadow in the image so i could add um, a mask around that but i'm not going to do that in this case right so the other thing that we lack is just the image the the, the text so let's go ahead leave the moment and now we add like an authentic signature or any other script okay now after that we add a white and also a stylized drop shadow effect okay for the drop shadow effect uh, i'm going to actually let me add it here i'm going to actually adjust it okay so i want to make it 100 percent so i know exactly what what the shadow is looking like i want to add like five percent here three pixels three pixels and maybe a 10 blur maybe it's a little bit too much uh in the y offset i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger like eight or seven and now here i'm gonna make like 25 pixels or even 30 percent there we go now we just add it there okay we adjust it to the size that we want there we go okay so there you have it now the last part is to actually add to the funnel so we are going to add it like this be careful with the shadows and now what we would do actually is just export the image first of all you see the size the size is a little bit big but it's okay for the hero section and then you export it as a png and then you add it in the page and you have something like this right now, if you liked the tutorial, let me know in the comments, all right? And I'll see you in the next tutorial.